afternoon, Lowell High School. Welcome to the first ever edition of the Friday Show and also just Red Devil Network. My name is Dan the Cannon McGannon, and I am here to reveal all of LHS's secrets to you. A show for you today about our great football team. We have a lot of new cast members in the Red Devil Network, so let's get to meet them, starting with the A-Team. Good morning, LHS. Mr. McLennan here, bringing you another exciting edition of the Friday Show. Welcome to this week's episode of the Friday Show. Welcome to the second episode of the Friday Show. And this is the first Friday Show of the year. Today on a special edition of the Friday Show. Welcome back to another episode of the Friday Show. Welcome to another episode of the RDM Friday Welcome Show. Welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Show. Welcome to the Friday Show. The Friday Show. The Friday Show. Friday Show. The Friday Show. The Friday Show. The Friday Show, man. Not only is it one of the greatest experiences I've had, like, in the media world up until this point, but it's something that's going to be engraved into whole culture forever. As somebody who wants to be in this industry, the, the Friday show has given me the most real world experience, things like with working with a team, crunch time. I'm in college now, but I still haven't had this real world experience that the Friday show gave me. It really impacted my life. I've made a lot of great friends through it. We started a group chat while we were all in school and even now like two years later we're all still really close we all still talk to each other almost like on the daily it's like made a family and it all started with that class it made it was a class i was really interested in it really like i could do my own thing i had a lot of ideas and it could come together with other people and we could kind of clash those ideas and blend them and instead of one person making one project there's a lot of people coming together even if they weren't in your group, but you would take ideas from other people and really make something out of it. And it was just such an interesting class. And it, it was just my favorite. I looked forward to going to it every single day. When he took us to uh, Chicago to work on a project, which our client was actually the president of NIPSCO, McLennan took us there. And that was a great opportunity, especially with that high of clientele and what we were covering. And that's an opportunity that um, even after completing my third year of college studying film, I haven't had an opportunity like that uh, come back my way. Honestly, McLennan giving us that opportunity as seniors in high school, that's something I really appreciate and I can never thank him enough for. McLennan was a great teacher because he didn't just take our hand and walk us through everything step by step. He gave us the basic knowledge we needed to get a goal achieved and just kind of put us out there. And we used that little bit of knowledge he gave us to build our own knowledge and teach ourselves how to get things done when we want them done. Barrier TV has been extremely important to me. Um, I, uh, I ended up going to Ball State for uh, telecommunications, changed my major to uh, music media production. Literally all of the skills that I needed to be able to do that, I got in Radio TV. If I hadn't taken that class and learned how to <laughs> um, like manipulate audio and learn how to edit audio and get involved with like the radio part of it, but I wouldn't have the know-how to be able to do what I'm doing today. Regardless of if you're going into video or not in your future, it teaches you a lot about how a work environment will work actually. You need to turn in your projects, you need to turn in uh, you know, work. Uh, at certain deadlines and McLennan really puts a lot of faith in his students to turn in the projects and he won't be on your back constantly about turning in a project it's really on you to get it done and I think that's the reason I fell in love with radio and TV. McLennan is such a good teacher especially for high school students because he's not overbearing and especially in media that's like that would be a total hindrance like he lets you go and do your own work with your own ideas you know he lets you be creative in your own way. He's not gonna to try to influence how you think or how you're creative, he lets you be you. And that's, he's the reason why these students grow in the field. And for a lot of them, that's what they end up, or at least want to end up doing later on. Clinton was definitely one of those people that you, for at least for me, and I know for probably quite a few other people, he was one of those people that you could go to if you had any sort of problem, especially if you were struggling with school or with stuff at home, just anything if you were if you were having a rough week he was the person you could go to especially because with me like he I, I've had my problems in high school everyone did um, and there's been times where I've broken down and I, I needed the help and I was afraid to ask but McClendon was able to see that 
and he would pull me to the side and he would ask like hey man are you all right what's going on and and i felt comfortable enough with him that i could tell him nick levin was a great teacher because he truly <laughs> wanted the best for every student in his class and he truly cared about what he was teaching and all the students in his class mcclendon has always willingly been there it wasn't always about the class if i needed any life advice any guidance he'd always be there and to this day if i ever have a question about anything I know I can go to him and I know I can call him at any time of the day and he'll be there for me. Just like how I know he's been there for all of the other radio and TV kids. Things that I can take away from McClendon are being realistic about your goals and your expectations. Obviously you can have large ambitions, but you have to kill your baby sometimes. No argument for the success that McClendon has brought this program. If you look at any episode of The Friday Show and you focus on a single student or a single group of students and you go from their first segment to their last, the progress is undeniable. Whether you're taking this class seriously and you have ambition to do this as a career or you're just taking it so you have a creative outlet in high school, you are learning. And in this technological world, the skills you acquire in this class are priceless. I just want to give a big thank you for giving LHS the best six years that it's had. Um, the class has given us really great experiences as well as you. So thank you a lot. You've created a family throughout this class. I'm thankful for Mr. McLinden because I didn't think of him just as a teacher. I thought of him also like as a friend to, and a friend to everybody, not just me. Because I felt like he really cared about his students and like he listened to everybody about everybody's project. And uh, personally for me, I felt like I was going down like kind of like a darker path and like he, he didn't just kind of ignore it, like he actually checked in with me and I really appreciate him for that and everything he did for me. If you took McClendon out of the radio and TV program, it would completely crumble. He is like 100% the heart and soul and backbone of that class and I don't think that anybody else could like drive and encourage and inspire the students the way that he does like he, he brings something I don't I can't put my finger on it it's just he's really good at what he does and nobody else could replace that man in that position thank you McClendon thank you McClendon thank you McClendon thanks McClendon